Mrs. M here. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a bar graph. A bar graph uses bars to show data. A scale of equally spaced numbers helps you read the number each bar shows. The students in the reading group made a bar graph to record the number of books they read in October. How many books did Seth read? Let's take a look at this bar graph below. The title tells what the bar graph is about. Each bar is labeled with a student's name. We see Max in purple, Amy in blue, Seth in green, and Kate in red. The length of a bar tells how many books each student read. Now the scale is from zero to 16, and it's counting by twos. Now, how do you read the bar that tells how many books Amy read? So I'm gonna take a look at Amy's bar, and I know every time her bar hits this one of these lines, I know that that's counting by two. So I see two, four, six, eight. But Amy's bar is halfway between eight and 10. Now, I know half between way between eight and 10 is nine. So Amy read nine books. So let's take a look at this a little further. Find the bar for Seth. Remember, Seth's bar is green. It ends at eight. So Seth read eight books in October. How many books did Max read? Max is the purple bar. If we count by twos, every time the purple crosses the line, two, four, six. So Max read six books. Who read four fewer books than Kate? Well, first we have to determine how many books Kate read. Let's count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So Kate read 12 books. Who read four fewer books than Kate? Well, 12 minus four, I know equals eight. So I'm looking for the student who read eight books. If I look at the bar graph here and find eight, I know that the person who read eight books is gonna match up perfectly with this pink line. I can see by that judgment that Seth read eight books. So who read four fewer books than Kate? That's easy. That's Seth. Now, what if Amy read five more books? How many books did Amy read now? I know that Amy already read 12, sorry, I know that Amy already read nine books. And if I add five more to what Amy read, I know that nine plus five equals 14. So I know that Amy read 14 books. Now, if I have to bring that and extend her bar graph, I know I'm gonna bring it all the way out to this piece here. So then I'm gonna, let me go blue so we can see Amy's books. I'm gonna extend her blue all the way out here, color that in. Now, I can clearly see if Amy read five more, book, five more books, she would have read the most books out of all the students. All right, now it's your turn to try your independent practice.